Amazing Grace. Once you have recorded your track, you want to go to the very top where it says track. Select new. The shortcut for that would be shift command if you're on Apple and the letter N. And what you're going to do is select a stereo. You can do mono, but select a stereo. Aux input. And we're just going to label this one Reverb Bus. All right. After that, we go to the mixer window. So we're going to change the input of our Reverb Bus to Bus 1 and 2. You can select whatever bus input, but in this example, we're using Bus 1 and 2. Now, the next thing we're going to do is create a send on our vocal track by selecting the same bus input. Remember, we selected bus one and two. Scroll over to the insert slot of your reverb bus channel and select your reverb plugin. You can choose any reverb of your choice. In this example, we'll be using the stock reverb from Avid. It's called D-verb. Go ahead, hit the space bar for play. Amazing. Click on the volume fader of your vocal send and adjust the amount of reverb you feel that is right for your vocal or instrument. That saved a wretch like me. You'll be able to hear how much reverb is being added to your signal. Maybe you want more, maybe you want less, but have fun.